Hello everyone and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe and today we're going to be talking about Travis and Jason discussing the Eras Tour on their podcast, New Heights. Unfortunately, this was recorded, I believe it was recorded on the Saturday, so the day after Jason and Kylie went to their first Eras Tour performance concert, but before they went to their second and then before Travis was on stage. So we don't have the breakdown yet of Travis discussing his Eras Tour debut. But the good news, I guess, is that we'll probably get that next week. So the content will just keep coming for all of us. Can't wait to get that. But we do have some information about Jason's thoughts on the Eras Tour. We also got a little behind the scenes information about um, Travis and Jason meeting Prince William and his kids, all that good stuff. So I think we should just jump right in to um, the biggest part of the of the podcast, which was Jason and Travis recapping the Eras Tour. Um, it was Jason's very first Taylor Swift concert. And it's always so interesting to me because Travis has obviously been to so many at this point. He's been to tons. And the fact, I mean, he went to all three nights at Wembley, but he went to Paris. He's been to Sydney. He's been to Singapore. He's been to Argentina, Kansas City. Like he's been to so many. Um, and he still seems to have such a great time every single time he goes. But obviously this is Jason and Kylie's first time seeing the show. And so I was very, very curious to see and to hear what they had to say and what he had to say about it. Because I also don't think like, I don't think Taylor Swift is necessarily Jason's like type of music or like an art. If, if Travis wasn't dating Taylor Swift, I don't necessarily think Jason Kelsey is going to be going to a Taylor Swift concert, but... With that said, Jason had nothing but praise and just like, he just seemed like he had the best time and he basically said it was a fantastic show. So this is what he said. Um, he said, dude, it was amazing. <laughs> Which I mean, for Jason, I feel like that's, uh, that's high, high praise. He then goes on to say, it was insanely impressive. There's something like, obviously Taylor's an amazing singer songwriter, but then to be able to go out there and be a performer at that level for how long she was up there for, like three and a half hours, four hours. And then Travis goes 45 songs. And then Jason says, insane. If I'm in the tent, like, gosh, I, I need a break. Um, and then he said, it was an awesome experience. The Swifties made it very memorable. They also talked about Jason, like having his arm full of friendship bracelets and how his like circulation was being cut off because, um, of, of how many bracelets he had on. Um, and then Jason got a, a little emo talking about the 22 hat moment, which obviously all of us know you know, t t Taylor Swift fans know is just like a one of the one of maybe the best moments in the show where a special fan, it's typically like a younger fan, gets picked out of the crowd and gets to kind of wait at the edge of the stage. And Taylor comes down during the 22 um, song and greets the fan, gives them a hug, and then she's wearing a hat during the performance. And so she takes off the hat and she gives the hat to the fan and it's always just like a really cute moment one because of course like it's always emotional watch a fan meet their idol like that's always so cool and so fun to see but especially the fact that they're typically so young um they're kids and there's something just so heartwarming about seeing like a young kid meet someone that they love and are just so happy and so excited and they're just like day week month year life has just been completely made it's so sweet. And Jason, he also got a little emo watching it. So this is what he said. The 22 hat, dude, I've never cried at an effing concert. And I was literally tearing up watching this little girl's entire, he goes, I'm about to tear up right now. It was so effing, it was effing so special. Uh, and then he also kind of said like, maybe it's because he has three daughters at home that it was like extra emotional for him and meaningful for, for him. But uh, I'm right there with Jason. Like that is one of the best moments of the show. It's just, it's great. It's a great moment. Um, I do still want to see Wyatt Kelsey, <laughs> even though it's, I feel like I've said before, I would love to see Wyatt Kelsey get the 22 hat, but the reality is Wyatt Kelsey has spent like personal intimate time with Taylor Swift. Like Taylor Swift has been to Wyatt's house and has spent time with her and her two sisters. Um, 
one-on-one. So like, it's probably not that meaningful or special for Wyatt to get the 22 hat. So I do think there's more deserving fans and kids out there who should get that hat. Um, but I just love how emotional that got Jason and, um, how much that really impacted. With all that said, Jason's favorite part of the show was Taylor's little acoustic section, the surprise song section, um, which is interesting. Well, it, it makes sense for Jason because again, I feel like he's somebody who loves just like strip back musicians playing music and singing, like bare bones. Obviously the spectacle of the Aeros tour is amazing and the dancers and the lights and all that kind of stuff is great but there is something very very special just seeing taylor swift on stage with the guitar with the piano singing to the crowd so this is what jason said about the acoustic section that was my favorite part it's just her a guitar and ninety thousand people and she's blending from one song to a, to another like to be good in front of ninety thousand people with just that i think you have to be amazing and you have to one of one have great songs and great lyrics which she obviously has written and made and then two be able to perform those seamlessly on the spot nothing else to hide it just just that was the highlight of the evening for me i think that's exactly true like taylor swift being able to go from one song to the next song and like see seamlessly mash up these these songs there's nobody else there it's it's very challenging to captivate a room of 90,000 people when it's just you and a guitar. Uh, and Taylor Swift does that every single time. And I think part of it too is how meaningful all of her songs are and how special it is to like hear a song you didn't think you were gonna hear. There, there is something to be said for that too. Like the excitement of finding out what this surprise song is going to be and what she's gonna mash it up with. And I don't know, that I think that adds an extra element to it that makes it really, really, really special. Um, so then they talked about meeting Prince William, George, and Charlotte. Now we obviously know that William or that Travis got to meet William, George, and Charlotte because Taylor posted the selfie photo of all of them together. But we found out on the podcast that Jason and probably Kylie too also got to meet um, the royal family, which was crazy. And they were talking about how they were like, not really sure how it was gonna go, um, but that they actually like loved it and they thought that William was so nice and so cool. Um, and uh, they, they also were like not sure if they were supposed to like bow or curtsy when they were meeting them. Um, but then they found out that because it's not like an official royal engagement, they don't have to do those 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 things so i'm assuming they just like shook their hand but yeah they were talking about how great they were and how fun it was to meet them and then jason was saying how much he loved meeting charlotte so this is what he said prince william was fantastic but the highlight was princess charlotte she was so effing adorable um and then he said maybe because i have three girls now but she had a fire to her she was asking questions they talked about how like it was cool that she was like engaged with these adults and was like talking to people and like not just shaking the hand and then like moving on, but that she seemed to have like a lot of personality, which is obviously fun and, and cool. And Charlotte um, is a big tan, so it makes sense that she was excited. But I, again, like the world that we live in where Jason and Travis Kelsey are meeting the meeting Prince William and George and Charlotte, like it's just, it's so crazy. The world we live in is so Freaking crazy, I can't even begin to explain. Um, so yeah, so that was kind of the highlights of the New Heights episode. Again, cannot wait for next week, hopefully, when Travis gives us his breakdown of his era's debut, because we need all the information. And who knows, like maybe Travis will hit the stage in Ireland this weekend. I kind of don't think so, but again, like who the hell knows? Maybe he'll just like, this is his summer job as he comes on stage. Um, at the Eras tour and makes people smile and laugh and freak out. And you know what? That's not a bad. Um, so yeah, that's that for today's show. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do that. We are getting closer and closer to 5,000 subscribers and that's a milestone we would love to hit. So if you haven't subscribed, please do that. Follow us on social media and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.